Paralympic star John McFall to become first disabled astronaut in space. The astronauts joining the new class were selected from a pool of more than 22,500 candidates, securing places to train for missions to the International Space Station and beyond. The UK's John McFall, 41, is among the 17 candidates selected to join the European Space Agency's astronaut class of 2022, all of whom could eventually be heading for the moon. The announcement of the future crop of space explorers was made at the Grand Palais Ephemere in Paris this afternoon following the closure of the two-day ESA Council meeting at ministerial level. The ESA astronaut class of 2022, the space agency revealed, includes five career astronauts, 11 members for the astronaut reserve, and one astronaut with a physical disability, Mr. McFall, selected for the PAR Astronaut Feasibility Project, which will improve our understanding of and overcome the barriers spaceflight presents for astronauts with a physical disability. Last year represented the first time since 2008 that the space agency has put out a call for applicants to join their astronaut program. In total, they received more than 22,500 valid candidates from across the ESA's member states and associate members, including 257 applications for the role of astronaut with a physical disability. The most applications were received from France, with 7,087 submissions, followed by Germany, at 3.695, the United Kingdom, at 2,000, Italy, 1,845, and Spain, 1,341. Of the initial applicants, 76% were men and 24% women, with 530 women and 831 men invited to progress to the second phase of selection. Of the applicants from the UK, 166 made it through to the second stage. After the initial screening, which considered each applicant's CV, documentation and results of special questionnaires, the second stage saw 1,361 candidates subjected to a battery of tests from the practical through to the psychological at the ESA Assessment Center in Hamburg. This was followed by an additional, medical-based screening process, followed by two interviews. The first assessed behavioral and technical skills, while the latter interview was held with the ESA Director General himself, Dr. Joseph Ashbacher. The new class of astronauts will be taking up duty at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany, where they will undergo basic training for one year. Following this, they will move into the space station training phase before being assigned to specific missions. Prior to the announcement of the new class of astronauts, Dr. Ashbacher said that they were all incredible people. He added, Today we welcome the 17 members of the new ESA Astronaut Class 2022. This ESA astronaut class is bringing ambition, talent and diversity in many different forms, to drive our endeavors, and our future. Five candidates were chosen to become career astronauts. They included the UK's Rosemary Coogan, an astronomer with the National Centre for Space Studies, and Frances Sophie Adenaut, a helicopter pilot with more than 3,000 flight hours under her belt in both test flights and rescue missions. They will be joined by Spain's Pablo Alvarez Fernandez, an aerospace engineer who has contributed to the development and testing of bio-seals for the ExoMars rover which will be looking for signs of life on the Red Planet. The final two new ESA career astronauts are Belgium's Raphael Ligiois, a biomedical engineer who works as a research and teaching fellow at the University of Geneva and the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, and Switzerland's Marco Sieber, a helicopter emergency rescue doctor who enjoys flying and paragliding and served as a sergeant in the Swiss Army. Alongside Mr. McFall and Miss Coogan, a third Briton also made the ESA astronaut class of 2022. Megan Christian is a materials scientist with the National Research Council of Italy in Bologna, Italy. ESA's Director of Human and Robotic Exploration, David Parker, said, This is an extraordinary time for human spaceflight and for Europe. After the successful launch of Artemis I with ESA's European Service Module powering Orion to the Moon, we are on the forefront of human space exploration. We are delighted to have this group of extremely talented people, to continue European science and operations on the International Space Station and beyond. Speaking during the announcement of the new class of ESA astronauts, Mr. McFall said, When it was announced they were looking for a candidate with a physical disability, I thought it was such an exhilarating possibility, such a brave and bold thing to do. So with my scientific background and vast range of experiences, 
I felt compelled to try and help ESA to help answer the question of if someone with a physical disability can do meaningful work in space. I think I can bring a lot to the study, including inspiration.